Hello folks, this is Video Free America 1 and I was looking at my emails and I found this on my email. It's called my, the very first king size bed. You're going to love this. The very first king size bed. Okay? Look at that. Manger. It says, thank God for that bed and the baby who slept there. Amen. Nicest, nicest place to be in someone's thoughts. Safest place to be in someone's prayers. Best place to be in God's hands. God bless you. And God bless America. And God we trust. Isn't that amazing? King size bed. The greatest. Yep. Just wanted to let you know. Short video, but that means a lot to me. King size. Um, what Robin Williams, the comedian, has come up with a plan to fix things. And here it is. It's hard, to, it's hard to argue with his logic. I see a lot of people yelling for peace, but I have not heard of a plan for peace. So here's one plan. The U.S., U.K., Canada, and Australia, etc. will apologize to the world for our interference in their affairs, past and present. You know, Hitler, Mussolini, Stalin, Tojo, Noriega, Milo Savak, Hussein, and the rest of those good old boys. We will, well, we'll never miss, we'll never interfere again. Two, we will withdraw all our troops from all over the world, starting with Turkey, South Korea, and the Middle East, and the Philippines, etc. They don't want us there. We will station our troops. They, we, we. We would station troops at our borders so no one allows sneaking through the holes in the fence anymore. All illegal aliens have 90 days to get their affairs together and leave. We'll give them a free trip home. After 90 days, the remainder of them will be gathered up and deported immediately regardless of whom or where they are from. Their illegal Africa will welcome them. <laughs> All future visitors will be thoroughly checked and limited to 90 days unless they have given special permits. No one from a terrorist nation will be allowed in. If you don't like that there, change it yourself. Don't come, don't come and hide here. Asylum would never be available to anyone. We don't need any more cab drivers or 7-Eleven cashiers. No foreign students over the age of 21. The older ones are the bombers. <laughs> if they don't attend classes or they get a D and it's back home baby. <clears throat> the, the U.S., U.K., Canada, and Australia, etc. will make a strong effort to become self-sufficient energy-wise. This will include developing non-polluting source of energy, but will require a temporary drilling of oil in the Alaskan wilderness. The caribou will have to cope, with, will have to cope for a while. Offer Saudi Arabia and other oil-producing countries $10 a barrel for their oil. If they don't like it, we go someplace else. They can go somewhere else to sell their products. About a week of the wells filling up at storage sites will, will be enough. If there is a famine and other, and, and other, or other natural catastrophes in the world, we will not interfere. They can pray to Allah or whomever for seas, rain, cement, and whatever they need. Besides, most of what we give them is stolen or given to the connected. The people who need it most get very little, if anything at all. Ship the UN headquarters to an isolated island, island someplace. We don't need the spies and fair weather friends here. Besides, the building would make a good homeless shelter for, or lockup for illegal aliens. All Americans must go to charm and beauty school. That way no one can call us ugly Americans any longer. <laughs> the language we speak is English. Learn it or leave. Now isn't that a winner of a plan? The Statue of Liberty is no longer saying, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. She's got a baseball bat and she's yelling, you want a piece of me? If you agree with this, for, above, forward it to your friends. If not, I would be amazed if you deleted it. That's Robin Williams for you. That dude's funny. This is another email I got called Obama issues a new American flag. Last week we were again reminded why it's so important to stop Barack Hussein Obama. <clears throat> now he's re redesigned the American flag. As Obama appeared on TV in Pakistan apologizing for our constitution, his campaign visibly issued this new flag. 47 years we have passed since our last star was added to the American flag. Now Obama removed all 50 stars and replaced them with his own logo. He began selling his new American flag on posters and apparel. Obama wants to be your king, not your president. With, radi with radical groups storming our embassies, murdering our citizens, and des desecrating our flag, Obama paid to go on Pakistan TV and essentially take blame and apologize. President Obama is becoming an international embarrassment <clears throat> while he works to undermine our values here at home. Okay, Patriot, Patriot Super PAC is rolling out its TV ad to more battleground states in October. View this video and you'll agree you'll need to get this ad out on TV. It tells the truth about our president and tells him to get out. You know, it's a little bit too early, too late in the game because he still won the election, but it's still a good video. You ought to see it. It's funny.
Just means we divide him. The freedom of religion doesn't mean a thing. So Bill used to make the worst economy. I feel prison by Obamacare policy. This is video pre pre uh, pre video, video pre America one, and this is signing off. Uh, this is just stuff before the election, the stuff that I just want to get on the internet and on, on YouTube. So just don't mind me.